Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Super happy to see everyone here. So guys, we have a very special episode today because Chanahan, we have another um, unboxing episode for today. So if you want to find out what's inside this very beautiful Balenciaga um, paper bag, please stay tuned. Hi guys, Ron here, Soki Budgetarian Fashionista. A vlog about the latest news about fashion. I do luxury shopping vlogs, hauls and unboxings. I also do bag reviews and provide styling tips. I'm inviting you to join our ever-growing fam by clicking this cute little icon here so you can easily subscribe and I can welcome you to the family. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com or Stashermere5 so you could get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright, so let's start guys. So if you have seen um, our last shopping episode last Saturday, which is we went back to Balenciaga. If you haven't seen that guys, I'm going to link it up here and put it on the description box. Just a disclaimer guys, I will be honest, this is not my bag. This is from um, a bag that was purchased by my very dear friend. I'm going to link his account here so you can check him out on Instagram. So, um, I've asked permission from him if I could unbox it and share it to our luxury fam here and he agreed. So let us start with our unboxing episode. Let me get her out. So again, before um, I unbox this one, just a little bit short story. So what happened was um, we went back to Balenciaga and we were so lucky that we were able to find this bag. Um, actually, uh, this was supposed to be my bag because I was the first one who saw this bag. Um, but when I saw uh, show this to him, he really liked it and he said that he's going to purchase. So it's like he caught a shotgun or maybe the first dip. So that's why I, you know, just gave him the bag. And in return, just like what I mentioned, that I would be unboxing it here. So, so um. This is not the, as you can see here guys, it's their classic gray paper bag. It's not the famous right now, the Gucci X Balenciaga hat project. So, as you can see guys, the paper bag is so beautiful. Let me just pull her out. One moment guys. Here it is. So this is the first time I'm unboxing a Balenciaga. Oh, actually no, I'm lying. This is not the first time that I'm unboxing a Balenciaga because the very first Balenciaga that I've unboxed here is my Sharp XS bag, but I did not purchase that directly from Balenciaga here in the Philippines. I purchased it via Italis.com online and it did not came with this very beautiful um, box from Balenciaga. So as you can see here, it's guys. open guys. Are you ready? So in, oh, it's upside down. Three, two, one. Let's open together. Can you see me? As you can see, it's a pull-out box compared to the magnetic type. Here she is. So, um, my friend already put the authenticity cards here. Later, we are going to discuss. So, it's wrapped with the um, fish over here. Here it is. Here is the dust bag of Balenciaga. So, let us open. Do you have any guesses, guys, of what we got? So, please do comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. So, three, two, one. Shannon! So, it is the Balenciaga. Um, Sorry, guys, forgot. The Balenciaga Ahor glass bag. Here she is. Alright, so here is the Balenciaga Hour glass bag and I believe the size is mini. So here she is. So here is the front. So just to show you. So as you can see guys, um, the material of this one is some, um, I'm not sure if it's cowhide or it's a croc stamp, genuine leather. It has the graffiti um, detail all over the bag and it also has the silver or ruthenium um, Balenciaga hardware. So this is the front. Um, this is the side. The back. So with the back part there. So it has a little bit of space here for pocket. And then the bottom part. The top part. So with the top part you're going to see it comes with the D-rings over here. So it means that it comes with the 
fully detachable strap. So let me just get the strap for you guys inside the paper bag. So again, here is the paper bag. Here is the strap. So the strap is fully de um, detachable and adjustable as well. So here are the here the ends and then of course the adjustable part of the leather strap. As you are going to notice guys, with the leather strap that it comes with, it also has the design the graffiti design all over on the back in the material it's the same so the color of this bag I believe um, we could consider this as a true red um, what I'm seeing on the camera it is a true red like a lipstick or a cherry red um, let us check the interior guys if you're going to open so there is a Magnetic, so it just needs to open this one and it has a little bit of tissue So if you're going to pull so you're going to see that there is a logo of Balenciaga here and then there is one um, Compartment inside so there are no slip pockets or anything So one clean compartment inside and um, I'm looking at it. There is like a Authenticity number inside I'm not sure if I could show you here because I don't want to open the bag really, really wide and damage the bag because this is not mine. So I'm going to put some more detailed mod shots here of the bag so you can take a look um, more closely on how gorgeous this bag is. There she is. So what do you think guys of the Balenciaga Hourglass bag? So before we go a little bit further with our glass bag, I wanted to check the authenticity cards because um, I'm just a little bit curious how it looks like. So it looks like this. It comes with the cards. Okay. So it comes with the price tag still here. So I'm just going to cover this one up. So it comes with the price tag. Here is the front. And then the care card. Okay. What are these? Oh, okay. So I also have these with the, oh wow, this is nice, with this Consolato number. And then at the back. And then it comes with these numbers. This one I'm so curious because um, it shows here inspected by... 004 and this is actually my lucky number this is the first time that i'm seeing so it must have been a good sign that um we were able to spot this one because 004 is my very lucky number there and then it comes with the care cards over here So let us do what fits in this very beautiful Balenciaga bag here. So again, like what I mentioned, the size is mini. So I'm just going to correct myself if this is micro or mini. But I think this is one of the smaller bags of Balenciaga. So I've already put some stuff in. So just in case you are going to purchase um, the bag, this is what you could put in. Because um, this is a little bit smaller. So let's open her up. So what I could fit in, of course, is number one. So if you're going to put your phone, it would be a little bit tricky. So you're going to put your phone on diagonally because here, again, guys, um, I've noticed that the inside part, oh, sorry, it's not focusing. The inside part of the back, um, it's accordion style. So this side here, it's going um, inside, so it's eating up a little bit space. So you're going to put your phones a little bit diagonally. So my phone is iPhone 6s plus so, so this is a little bit larger and then oh wait I need to show you guys what it looks like when I put my phone in so it would look like that guys so diagonally and then remove my phone and then of course my face cream my oil control film my lip gloss and lipstick and actually it has a little bit more of space wherein I could put my um, card holder and um, set of keys 
so you cannot put in a full size wallet on this one you could put um, a little a compact wallet but then again you may have difficulty in putting in other of your essentials whenever you're carrying this one you have to be very mindful of the things that you are going to bring with you for the entire day all right, so would I recommend the hourglass bag to you guys? So let's start first with the pro. So definitely, um, one of the pro that I could see with this bag is the style of this bag. So the hourglass bag. So I'm not really sure like how many years the um, house is doing this, but they have been producing. Um, the hourglass bag for so many seasons now and so many years in different materials, different colors. It also comes with, you know, the more famous designs like the one um, that Kim Kardashian is wearing, which I super, super love. So definitely, this is one style that you need to add to your collection. And then, of course, number two, um, if you like a uh, structured KD style that's a little bit more trendy, then definitely this is a bag for you. So, um, just like myself, I do love a good top handle bag, a structure bag, and a trendy bag that it, you know, it checks all of that, then this is, that's why I super, super love the um, hourglass bag. Um, of course, number three is the material that they're using. So, this uh, comes with 100% genuine leather. So, the outside part, even the lining is made of genuine leather. And of course, I believe um, the price point of the hourglass bag. So of course, comparing it to let's say the uh, Chanel classic flap, then definitely this is on the more affordable side. And of course, I believe um, you could carry this uh, multiple ways. So you could carry it as a top handle, then you could attach um, the strap over here and transform it into a crossbody bag or a shoulder bag. So those are the pros. Um, now let's move on to the cons of the bag. So number one, um, so like what I've mentioned, yes, this is like they have been repeating this style, the Balenciaga. This is one of their more classic style. But then again, uh, this is this would still be considered on a trendy side of bag. So if you are thinking of you would like to purchase a bag that you feel would be a classic style that would last you know forever and ever on your collection then i feel that this is not a bag for you comparing it to let's say a chanel classic flap then definitely um this is on the trendy side and then i think the last con of this bag the reason why i mentioned earlier that if you are going to get an hourglass bag get a little bit bigger so if you are okay with micro bags or mini bags then this is okay because with me personally once my phone fits inside a bag that is good to go but if you are some a person that who wants to carry a little bit more then grab a little bit something bigger um, a, a larger size of the hourglass bag because like what i mentioned as you can see here um it's accordion style so this part here so it eats up um, half an inch on each side therefore it's a little bit limiting on the things that you could carry for your bag overall guys for me um, because right now what I am collecting are Chanel bags because I really wanted to collect pieces that like for example if I would be changing my mind in the future and I'm going to resell I would still be able to get a huge chunk of money and would be able to sell it fast um, uh, if I would be getting this myself maybe I would put it on you know on my wish list currently so I'm happy that my friend Yen got this maybe I'm just going to borrow this from him so maybe you're going to see this bag time to time on my Instagram account but if I'm going to purchase it right now I would be putting it on my wish list per first but if for example you are the type who wanted to carry something trendy um, something um, super fashion forward like the hourglass bag then definitely I would still be recommending this to you alright so before we end our episode for today let's do comment of the day and I would love to say thank you to Sheena thank you so much for leaving this wonderful comment thank you thank you so much I super appreciate this one and happy new year welcome to the fam yeah, guys I'm inviting you to join our growing loving fam by clicking this cute little icon here so you can easily subscribe and I could welcome you also smash that notification bell and I would highly appreciate it if you could like this video also please do follow me on instagram.com forward slash so you could get daily updates and sidekick tips coming from me 
again guys many 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 thank yous for staying with me in this episode i will see you soon please stay safe always bye